Lasers can transform ordinary metals into supermaterials that soak up light while making water bounce off like a trampoline. We'll show you this week on Light Matters. This is Light Matters for January 21st, 2015. I'm James Lowe. And I'm Justine Murphy. On this week's show, we'll learn about the possibilities presented by laser nanopatterning of metals. But first, we'll explore a new substance that could replace organic laser dyes and a new 3D microscopy technique that's much faster than current methods for capturing cellular phenomena. Stay tuned also for a look at the finalists for the PRISM Awards for Optics and Optical Components. An inorganic compound may serve as a longer-lasting replacement for laser dyes in a variety of applications. A team from the Spanish National Research Council and the Academy of Sciences of the Czech Republic have developed a laser whose medium is based on boron hydrides. Boring presents efficient and degradation-resistant laser emission in the blue spectral region, making it suitable for applications such as spectroscopy and materials processing. Made up of molecules that look like split soccer balls, boring is similar to organic dyes in structure and properties, which allows it to emit the laser light in an efficient and tunable way. The researchers plan to synthesize new boranes emitting at other wavelengths, which they said could benefit applications such as dermatology and potentially treatment of vascular and other diseases. The research was published in Nature Communications. A new kind of microscope enables real-time 3D imaging of living and moving samples, potentially offering advantages over other 3D microscopy techniques. Swept confocally aligned planar excitation, or SCAPE microscopy, was developed by researchers at Columbia University. The technique involves scanning a sheet of light through a sample, making it unnecessary to position the sample or the microscope's single objective. The researchers used the technique to image neurons firing in the brains of awake, moving mice, as well as crawling fruit fly larvae and single cells in a beating zebrafish heart. Other 3D microscopy methods work more slowly and require more complicated setups, including samples mounted in a fixed position. They do have one advantage over scape, though. The new technique uses a 488 nanometer laser, which cannot penetrate tissue as deeply. The research was published in Nature Photonics. Continuing our preview of the 2015 PRISM Awards, we'll take a look this week at the three finalists vying for the title in the Optics and Optical Components category. The MXC from Corning and US Connect is an inexpensive optical connector for data centers that supports up to 64 fibers and data transfer speeds up to 1.6 terabits per second. The Visayan series from Varioptic of France is a self-adjusting liquid lens that enables focus, tilt, and astigmatism adjustment without any moving parts. The steerable electro-evanescent optical refractor from Vescent Photonics in Colorado enables laser beam steering without any moving parts or phased arrays for applications in LiDAR, driverless cars, optical switching, and object pointing and tracking. The PRISM Awards are presented annually at Photonics West by SPIE and Photonics Media. They recognize innovative, light-based technology products that solve problems and improve quality of life. Tune in next week to learn about the finalists in the Metrology Instrumentation category. You can also find out more at photonicsprismawards.com. A new laser patterning technique turns normally shiny metals black and makes them so hydrophobic that water droplets bounce off. University of Rochester researchers used femtosecond laser pulses to carve microgrooves into sheets of platinum, titanium, and brass. Nanostructures then formed on top of the grooves, giving the metals high optical absorption properties as well as super hydrophobicity. The micro and nanostructures shouldn't deteriorate like chemical coatings used to give materials light absorbing and water repelling properties today. This could lead to devices that resist rust and shed ice, dust, and other contaminants. The principle could even be applied to make rain collectors and self-cleaning latrines in areas where water is scarce but the technology has to be scaled up before these possibilities can be realized. Right now, it takes an hour to pattern a one-inch square sample. The research was published in the Journal of Applied Physics. That's it for this week's show. We hope you'll comment below to tell us what you thought of it, and let us know what you'd like us to cover in the future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.